What's going on everybody? Hype here and I am bringing you a sound design tutorial and the sound we are going to be working on is this one right here. So this one was used in my song Heartbeat. Um, I just felt like I should break it down and show everybody it because I had a lot of fun making it. Um, I don't exactly have all the exact plugins that I use on this laptop that I did whenever I made the sound. The only difference was I used a sausage fattener, which I compensated with using that with a, um, which, which I'll, I'll show you guys whenever I did that. I basically went over and I used a soft clipper and it kind of did the same thing with that where it kind of just boosted the gain with it, but, um, basically just making it louder, but, uh, going into it, um, here we go. So here it is in side of serum. So basically, whenever I first started doing this, I tried making one of the, like the deep gargly snails bass, and I didn't get it like deep and gargly, but I did kind of have a fun twist to it, where it's a little bit more lively and kind of like my own style, you know. So basically, to start, I have the alien spectral here, um, waveform, very basic. Turn it down two octaves with a little bit of the position of it moving which you see it's automated with this very very slightly um, negative 18 then we go over to oscillator B it's just the default um, down to octaves and then I have this going from the asylum so if I go here you'll see that these are all the effects that's going with it um, the asylum plus or minus I have it starting at negative 58 and I have it going up to 27 then I have the same LFO right here on the level um, then we come over here and the default just kind of going into the level a little bit on the default sine wave nothing too much but um, just enough so you can't actually hear it you know then we come over here to the filter you have the filter only affecting this wave right here Nothing too crazy. Um, at first, I did have the A and the keyboard tracking on. You can hear what it sounds like with that. Not too big of a difference, but I didn't like that. I liked it like this more. Just kind of kept those high at the high end off of this oscillator. Then, if we come over here to this LFO, I have it this really weird shape. Uh, I was just kind of messing around with the shapes, and I just made this and it sounded cool. But I have it on the semitones, basically going both ways on both of them. It gave it a really, really cool effect. Come over to the effects. And we have a little bit of tube distortion. All I did was turn the drive up a little bit. Very, very simple. And then over here, I have it on an EQ. Cutting out the lows, boosting a little bit of the low to mid range. And you'll see I have it moving right here. So you'll see it whenever I play it. It moves a little bit just to kind of, because in the original sound it had a lot of that low end without the sub on it. And I just kind of made it move a little bit more. Uh, let me turn that back on. Then we come down here to the chorus. I just have a very, very slight amount of chorus on it. And I think I might have had it, actually have it disabled right now. Oh, no, I have it on the envelope. My bad. So all it's doing is basically going up, following the same shape. And you'll see, basically when it go, it takes that long to go up, it holds it for that long, and then it stops. Very, very simple. Um, then I have hyper and distortion. Same thing on the envelope. Um, hyper dimension didn't really change too much. Um, just so you can see, 19 and 14. And then on the chorus, it was at 33. Um, then I have a compressor down here, which I'm using it as like an OTT because um, I have not yet installed OTT on this laptop yet. So I'm going to get to that eventually, but for now, why not use it inside of Serum, you know? So I turn the mix all the way up, just turn the gain all the way down and the threshold to negative 16.7. Then when we come over here, um, I'll let you hear it without all of the extra mixer effects. <laughs> You can see it's very um, quiet, very bleh. So I turn on this Vocodex onto it, and just with the Vocodex on it, it gives it a lot more life. It gives it more of a um, 
gives it a more full sounding sound. So what I did was I turned the bands down to 33 because that's where I, I really liked it right there. I was going to go to like 22, but it wasn't really feeling that. Um, turn this knob all the way up, which is the bandwidth. Um, you'll see if I play it. It gives it more of a color based sound if it's like right here, so I'll turn it all the way up. Kind of keeps that same sound to it, just gives it more life. Because now instead of it being all these solo little bands, I turn it up so they're all crossing. And it's just really filling out that sound. For the module band and modulation, all I did was turn it all the way to the right. Um, that was the sweet spot where I really liked it. Um, you can see more low, more high. That's very easy. Then I just gave it more voices, five voices, nothing crazy. Then the soft clipper, which is what I used to really give it that loudness. And you can see, literally just turned both of those knobs all the way up. And then I have my EQ right here, where all I did was take out all the really low lows and the mid lows, or the low mids, I should say. And so basically just for whenever I'm mixing it, it'll just keep all the mud out of it and yeah there you go that's the entire base um i feel free to comment below and subscribe uh, i will be doing more sound design tutorials so i know this is the first one so yeah it's probably why i sound so fresh at all of this and um let me know if you would like to hear me use this in the full track because i have been working on something new right here and it's turning out pretty good. Nothing crazy to it so far, but it's coming on pretty great. So let me know if you'd like to hear that in the comment section. Have a good day.